I know a Western audience really enjoys and is looking forward to Wuthering Waves because a lot of the Western audiences does enjoy a more hardcore-based game. And China's opinion of it is that it needs to be a little bit less grindy, I believe. But the thing that I haven't heard anybody talk about is what Japan thinks. And the reason why it's important to know what Japan thinks is is because Japan spends a lot of money. Gotcha games are like in their bloodstream, man. So what, what does JP think about Wuthering Waves? thinks this or CN thinks that but what about the other superpower in the east yeah. I'm talking about North Korea Japan of course <laughs> I was interested <laughs> oh shit that caught me on guard jeez that was bad North Korea jump scare holy f guys be careful I interested in what the JP players were saying about Wuthering Waves yep. so I set out to find out what they liked and what they didn't and everything else in between okay. but before we look into what they thought about the latest beta test first we have yep. to find out what they thought about CBT1 so I combed through as many videos in the YouTube archives and compiled a list of the main things that kept getting brought up both good and bad so in no particular order pro they loved the world lore such as tacit fields echoes and the generally dystopian vibe but in saying that con the story the tacit fields I th heard were, were, were widely regarded as a negative because the way they implement them was piss poor so I'm, I'm curious what he means is they enjoyed the tacit field itself was difficult to understand and they couldn't follow along with what was being said <laughs> this is CBT1 more on that later. Pro. Okay. The parkour was smooth and interesting. They were particularly happy about running up walls. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it feels really, really, really good. 100%. Yeah, it feels really, really, really good. For, because for a game that's about open world exploration, the exploration actually feels good, right? Like nobody wants to slowly climb up a wall and then run out of stamina and then fall down. Like it just makes it a miserable experience when you're like slowly uh, and you can't spam jump anymore because you don't have enough stamina. So you gotta go like, uh, uh, take 40 minutes to climb one rock it's so irritating gamers today's sponsor and i'm gonna tell you all about it is rift storm rift storm is a roguelike shooter featuring unique weapon skills challenging dungeons high replayability for solo and co-op if you're a fan of hades warframe or just roguelikes in general you're gonna love this bad boy arm yourself into a realm filled with myths and nightmares as you peer into an unknown universe take control by shooting dodging and customizing each run to your operative strength with your preferred playstyle. Worry not, you don't have to do it alone. Team up with your allies and prove that even the best operatives achieve more together than a long and thrilling cooperative play to earn the best loot. Riftstorm threads the line between intensity, difficulty, and mastery. Jump in and out of action at your own pace as you build the skills, reflexes, and arsenal to truly master the game. Check Riftstorm out today using my link below in the description and pinned comment. And thank you, Riftstorm, for sponsoring today's video. Game in, game on, game out. Come pick him. I will say the glider, I still think it's a little bit too slow. Con, the parkour was too smooth, in fact, and they ended up climbing walls they didn't intend to. Pro, they loved not having to worry about stamina when moving around the map. このゲームのダッシュ、ダッシュした瞬間スタミナ減るんですけど、ダッシュし続けるとなんかダッシュモードになってスタミナ減らなくなってむしろ回復していくんですよ。これがいいなと思ってフィールド移動するときはダッシュ
due to the fact that one, they're not going to sell, so it's not going to make you any profit. And, let, and also, with the overwhelming roster that the game is going to have eventually, as all gotcha games do, having more focus on the characters that we're going to get or have is way more important to develop because otherwise there's not going to be... like why, why are we wasting a time developing the characters that we do have uh, that will stay there on our roster versus characters that are going to go away the moment we leave the zone? It just makes no sense. Overuse of NPCs is so bad. But she has boobs though, so I guess that one guy doesn't mind. Pro. They like the size of the open world, the environment in general, and particularly the quality of the graphics. Con. They thought there wasn't enough variety of puzzles. Ah! I mean, I feel, and this is just another uh, very important take to have. I feel like the lack of variety in puzzles is fair, but in a, in coordinates to, or, or in opposition to their, their, their competition, Genshin Impact, there is a lot more variety of puzzles than Genshin. So I feel like if it works for Genshin at their level, it'll also work for Wuthering Ways at this level. But this, once again, this is CBT1. Pro. They like the skill tree system and the customization and complexity it brings. Con. They thought all the weapons look alike. Pro. They said it's easy yep. to pick up if you've played Genshin. Yep. And that's by design. Yeah, it is. What, you thought we would yeah. just get the Genshin comparisons just because it's JP? Con, dialogue has too much jargon. Yeah, no, no, I mean, if people aren't comparing this shit to uh, Genshin Impact, well, they're just stupid, bro. Con, dialogue sounds unnatural. Con, can't read names because no furigana. This game was 1 million percent made to be a competitor for Genshin Impact, 1 million percent. Con, when they could read it, the dialogue made no sense at all. Like it was playing telephone by running the text through Google Translate into one language, then another language, then another, and another, until it lost all semblance of the original meaning. Con, if the dialogue was translated at all. Con, or if there was even any dialogue in the first place. As you can see, it seems JP's biggest concern was the overcomplication of the story and severe localization issues. It is crazy because so many people give up about the story being good and like three years ago four years ago me i would not get that at all but now i understand that like story is very important because it's going to give players a reason to want to come back with the frequent updates of what's happening uh and the current plot because when the gameplay runs out at least they'll be able to think well i still want to know what happens to this guy i still want to know what happens when we go there right so i i understand why they're spending so much effort on the story even though for me i, I just skip this shit and i play the game from what I saw, I think they had it a lot worse over there compared to the stuff I've seen in English release. So poor one out for them having to go through that. But we already knew all that. The devs even stepped up and said they rewrote 90% of the story because that's what most people are having issues with. Yep. So what about CBT2? What's the verdict? Overall, sure. they seem pretty happy with the results, but still have a few issues. Tasketa! Everything they originally liked in the first test, they are still happy with, okay. such as the combat, ecosystems, etc. <laughs> But regarding the changes, they noticed that the cutscenes were considerably better and yep. more interesting to watch. And Good. while some people really like the dark, dystopian aesthetic in CBT1, I, I think the visual change was very, very, very good because otherwise I would just get very EP whenever I played CBT1. So I think there's a better change. They admit that the world being made a little brighter, it makes exploration more fun and is probably more appealing to the majority of people. They also noticed that the crownless battle was considerably easier and that the skill animations look a little flashier. Yeah, I think the animations got a lot better, but also I think the impact uh, got a little bit less. But the hits are less satisfying. At first, I wasn't aware of that until I heard a couple of my buddies bitch about it. Then I went and checked, and yeah, the hits are a lot less satisfying now. They're still satisfying enough, but they used to be better. One of the issues from CBT1 about getting stuck while climbing was addressed, and they really appreciated yep. it. <laughs> and while they still like the female character design... So so several times people were saying that they were glad that there are older characters such as Yuan Wu. They called him an Ikeoji, which is basically something along the lines of a hot older guy. Or in other words, a Dilf. A dad I'd like to th <coughs> but it's not all sunshine and rainbows though. There are still plenty of localization yep. issues, with some parts still completely in Chinese or just having a placeholder text. <laughs>
and while what has been translated is a lot easier to understand and sounds much more natural compared to before, they still feel there is a little too much in terms of jargon, which they worry- I, I really wouldn't worry about localization too much. I just simply wouldn't do it. I, I feel like it's such an easy fix. It's going to be so much less time. And the other thing is, is that like, you know they're going to have to do it, right? For changes, a lot of the times, it's like, oh man, like I wonder if they're going to add this. I wonder if they're going to add Endgame. Well, like obviously they're going to- or, well, we don't know if they're going to add Endgame, but like, are they going to change the localization? Obviously, it's going to be fixed. Obviously, they're going to make it localized, right? There, there's no way for them to release the game without it being released. You know what I'm saying? It will turn people off. Reason being is that in comparison to English, if they can't read a kanji, they might have a general idea what the word means, but otherwise can only guess at how to read any particular word. <laughs> Many times I heard people saying that they wished it was voiced, both to add to the immersion of playing the game, but also because it would help to hear how words are supposed to be read. A minor thing I noticed is some people noting the lack of male characters in the beginning, especially if the player chose female rover. Oh, I don't know about that one, dude. I feel like I feel like Wuthering Waves has so many dudes, it's ridiculous. I feel like Wuthering Waves has more dudes. Like, I feel like the dude... I'm not gay. I could be. And honestly, I've considered it. Uh, <clears throat> anyways... I feel like the dudes in Wuthering Waves look better than the women in Wuthering Waves. So I don't get this complaint at all, bro. Like, have you seen Calcharo? Like, bro is hot as I guess they wanted more DILFs. Okay, I alluded to this before, so let's address the elephant in the room. What does JP think? about Wuthering Waves in comparison to Genshin. Throughout all of these videos, it was hard to go two minutes without Genshin being brought up, either in the context of Wuthering yep. Waves looking too similar or Wuthering Waves being much better than Genshin. I think it's good that it looks similar to Genshin because it looks like Genshin but better when you're in the combat. Their words, not mine. This video here is all about how they feel Wuthering Waves might not take off because it's too similar to Genshin. They no. worry people wouldn't uh, be- it's the exact opposite. It will do well. God damn. Holy f- Interested to- Uh, anyways. Oh, Jesus. Um, no, it'll be good because the biggest advertisement Wuthering Waves has is the existence is the existence of Genshin Impact, right? Like, the best advertising to play Wuthering Waves is Genshin Impact's 4.6, 4.7 game state, right? Which is like, what, 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 guys, what is a Genshin Impact player gonna do for the next 50 days? Genuine question. Genuine, what are they gonna do? Just sit there, oh, I'll tell you what they're gonna, they're gonna pick Mint, right? So if this game releases when Genshin Impact is in a bad game state, which I'll be real, guys, is pretty frequent, they're all gonna go over there. It's gonna be a good time. And it, it, it is very good how similar the games are. To start something new if they look like they're essentially the same. But they don't mean that as an overt... It's like, for example, like, why do you think Mr. Beast comp like, constantly compares himself to Hershey's? Because it's a big game, everybody gets Hershey's, and they're like, oh, I like Hershey's, but they say this is better? Okay, I'll try that. Oh my god, it's better. Right? Free conversion rate right there. And then once they get their own identity, then they can just drop that whole shit. Criticism. They state multiple times that they prefer Wuthering Waves, just that they are worried about its widespread appeal. Several times, however, I heard people say that they felt Wuthering Waves was actually closer to Tower of Fantasy than Genshin. So there's also- That's that just a shit take. That too. Oh, the UI? Sure. The UI? Sure. But the Tower of Fantasy is a MMO. Though Tower Fantasy also has its own Genshin clone accusations, so I guess it doesn't say much. Lastly, as a cherry on top to finish this video, I Bro, Breath of the Wild has accusations of being a Genshin clone. And the thing is, Genshin Impact copied Breath of the Wild. The fan base is just idiotic, and you should disregard almost anything this player base says. If the Genshin Impact player base hates you, it's because you're saying the truth. I want to go through which characters have the most support. There is this poll on the official Japanese oh, Discord for Wuthering Waves in their Oshikara channel. So it's not a huge sample, but I thought it was interesting. Please, for the love of God, don't support that dumb grass root bitch. That character looks so bad. Interesting. Going from least popular to most popular, we have Juen, Verena in English. She's the least popular. Oh, thank God. I, she looks so bad. She looks, she looks so bad. Thank God. Morutefi, which is Morutefi, of course. Yuan, Fair. Yuan Wu, Fair. Shika, which is Chishia. That's crazy to me. Aruto, Alto. I think Alto's goaded. Sonota, Other. Who? Who exactly are these others? It's that construction girl with the abs, isn't it? Or maybe it's the other Dilf. Byakuren, Baiji. 
Beautiful character. Indin Yinlin. L she's my favorite. JP clearly doesn't know quality. Let me just add my vote here. Okay, continuing. Yep. Angkor. Angkor. Tau she's cute. Tauki. Tauki is golden. Tauchi. Is it Tauchi or Tauki? Okay. Yang Yang. Yang. Really? She's that high? That's insane to me. Yang. Kian. Yeah, dude. Jian. Hyo Hakusha. Jose. Yeah, hottest. Female rover. Tanking. Danjin. Who the f is that? Hyo Hakusha. Danse. Male rover. And the most popular character is Sanka, otherwise known as Sanhua. In Yep. <sighs> hey, I get it. I get it, bro. She is fine as. But where, where's the martial artist? Where's the uh? Where's uh? Where's Zhao? In English, this poll doesn't necessarily. Where's Calcharo? Show the characters that JP don't like, just the characters that they like the most out of all of them. No ranked choice voting here either, unfortunately. It's also not the most up to date, as it was posted before Janshin and Calcharo's uh, were announced. Ah, interesting. So they are most likely the others I was joking about earlier. Just so you know, Janshin's name in Japanese is Kanshin, and Calcharo is Kakaro. Seriously, Kuro cool Games, would you just make his name Kakarot? Ain't no. True. What do you want to call him, Carpaccio or whatever it is? True. So yeah, that's what JP thinks of Wuthering Waves. What do you? Think? Was it anything surprising to you? Let me know down in the comments below. So until next time, I will see you in the next video. Peace. It sounds like JP really enjoys CBT2. So I think the game's gonna do very well. That was a amazing video, amazing delivery. Yo, boys, go give this video a like and a sub. Really, really, really good. And uh yeah. I'm stoned for Wuthering Waves, man. I know a lot of people's excitement has dropped off a little bit, but here's the thing: I don't have ADD. So like I'm still looking forward to this shit every day. I heard that this shit could be coming out in May, which would be insane, but We'll have to see.